Hello, hello, everybody. This is long overdue. Finally, you get my reaction video. You get my reaction video to the Teen Mom reunion. So let's get to it because I got my laptop here, got myself a little bit of beer, and we're gonna start with episode one. So basically, the Teen Mom reunion is not like it used to be. Now it takes place in California, and they invited all the moms. They almost invited me, and then I guess regretted the decision and took it back. So now we're gonna see all the shenanigans that happened while I wasn't there. And you're gonna see my true reaction because I honestly have not seen any of these episodes at all. So <laughs> let's get to it. Here we go with episode one, and I'm gonna start it right now. Welcome to the mother of all reunions. It's been over 10 years since you first watched me and my fellow teen moms take on the challenge of young parenthood. And while our stories are different, there's so much we have in common. So we decided we should try something that's never been done before. Get everyone together. Uh-oh. Mommy. Oh, we decided we should try something that's never been done before. Get everyone together. Uh -oh. That's right, everyone. We're reuniting in warm and sunny San Diego. First of all, I'm sorry, Macy, but that's some bad voiceover skills. <laughs> um, that definitely sounded like you're reading a script. But um, you didn't invite everyone. Definitely didn't get everyone in there, but carry on. It was never a family. It's all fake. <laughs> and then I met Taylor. I really feel like skipping through all this shit. I've been on Team Mom for about three years now. I was also on Are You the One and the Challenge. That's where I met Corey. I'm Serena. You're Serena. I have nothing against Cheyenne, but the fact that she doesn't like white people or it perceives that way from her old tweets and she's never i've never seen her apologize for it yet corey's baby mama taylor got kicked off a teen mom and they talked about her remarks but they never talked about cheyenne's remarks now that we're here i'm a little nervous that this might be my worst idea ever there's a lot of pettiness but I hope that this retreat brings us all together and maybe we can put it behind us. So you already are anticipating pettiness even though you came up with the idea. To get in a little string bikini and lay out on someone's boat. It's peaceful. That's what we need. It's I feel like they all took this opportunity to seriously like go on the beach. But hey, I mean, I would too. I would too. No lie. I mean, it's it's nice in San Diego. It is. But um, the people I would be with, I wouldn't agree with. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. 27. I know us have issues. I don't want faith. I will say this. Out of every teen mom girl, Brianna is the realist. Brianna is the realist. You might hate her. You can actually trust her. You can actually be her friend. She'll like even text you to check up on you. Like she is a genuine person. Um, don't know about Jade. I've never met her. I'm not going to say anything about her. Um, I'm not really going to say anything about Ashley too much. Um, we had our differences, but I'm pretty sure she wants to squash the beef. Um, but yeah, you know, Brianna, she's real. She's a realist and I love her. And Brittany, Brittany, love fucking Brittany. Brittany is awesome. And Brianna, you look beautiful. I did. Jade's right. You do look like a model in this scene. You really do. I'm always with my kids. I'm her mother. I'm her father. And now I'm on Team Mom too. I just want you to take a drug test and prove. They have to play the most horrible clips when it's like, oh, let's look back on who we added to Team Mom. Like, I don't know when the producers are going to understand that not everyone wants to hear yelling and screaming on their screen. Like, they've heard enough from me and my mom. <laughs> I'm sure they don't want to hear any more. So, like, maybe you guys should switch it to a positive and you would get more viewers. Take my TikTok, for example. 
looks like no one could show up, but just like me and you, and I'm like, I'm, I'm turning up. up. I would have showed up with you girls. I would have definitely hung out with you and Jade Brianna because you guys seem like you're not trying to be in the drama. You're just like, I'm chilling by the fucking pool. Fuck the drama. I love being a mother, but I'm I don't know who's going to show up. I feel like there are some girls I don't want to see, but I don't want them to not show up because then they don't have the opportunity to say their piece. Really? Really? Ashley just said right there, I want everyone to be invited because I want them to be able to say their piece. What the fuck? I didn't get to say shit. And now I have to make a reaction video <laughs> that they're probably going to hate me for. But that's okay. Because we live and we learn, right? Alright, we can do this. Yes, Brittany! My sister is a part of my life, my everyday. Why would she not be here? Like, she has to come. If Brittany. she didn't come, I don't think I would have came. Are you guys excited to see all the other people that are coming? I am. Dude, Brittany is the most down-to-earth, hilarious girl that you guys will, like, ever meet. I don't know why I'm crying. I think this is why I didn't want to watch this. It's just, it hurts that... It hurts that I've always felt like I've been excluded. It's all just a memory. Okay, I'm back. Listen, this was not made to be a freaking sad thing. I don't know what sparked me to cry, but it did. So let's just get back. Try and the party play. <laughs> I really hope that everybody comes into the mixer open-minded, open-hearted. They're literally showing all the Teen Mom 2 girls, including my picture, but you won't let me have a voice. Vera was a cast member on Teen Mom. She started the show with me and Kate and Amber. We never got along with her, but we also said we should invite everyone. Just because her. But we also said we should invite everyone. What a fucking joke. I don't know how many times they're gonna say it. You know, it's all about trying to better ourselves and do some fun things. Amber, you wanna sit here and go on Instagram live rants about me all the fucking time, but you wanna better yourself? And that was after you left the reunion, so you still haven't bettered yourself. The reunion didn't help, let's be honest. It was just probably all a skit just to make a new show. No one else can say that they've been through what we've been through, except for each one of us. Okay, now Leah, um, let me just throw this out there. I just can't trust her being a friend. I just can't. Like, we went to the VMAs one time, for instance, and when we went to, like, she was... She was acting so standoffish to me at all the Teen Mom reunions, and then we go to the VMAs one time, and she had no one to hang out with, so then she asked me to hang out with her, and she's like, Janelle, can you please hang out with me, please? I have no one else to hang out with, and I'm like, yeah, sure, fine, that's fine with me, yeah. And then we went to another reunion after the VMAs, and she had to like it didn't exist again. So it's just like, I can't trust her. And that's how I always felt. I brought my partner Bar to this reunion because he's always going to be my best friend. He's always going to be. So everyone got to bring their husbands and boyfriends, but since it was a problem for my husband to be that down the street in a hotel, it's such a big fucking ordeal. So when I Oh my god, they said, do they have hard alcohol? Y'all, all right. You know when the whole fake New Year's thing happened and they wanted us to act like we were having a New Year's party and they were filming it and everything? Y'all, David wanted a beer so bad, so they gave him a beer. He drank that beer, he wanted another one, he drank that one. He wanted a third one and they said, no, you're cut off. These are for props. David said, props? What the fuck? He was like, these are props? He's like, uh, I need to go get more beer. They're like, you can't leave. He's like, I am fucking leaving. 
They're like, you can't leave. We're filming. He goes, I'm leaving. And then he got tangled in the balloons on the way out and started popping them. And then it turns into, David's going to hurt someone. <laughs> Y'all, that bar just reminded me of that. That's probably props. They probably have like this much liquor in the bottle. And they probably are going to be like, you're cut off. You can't have any more. Or they're going to feed them with alcohol. Like when they called me and said, hey, you want to join this reunion? And I said, no, I don't want to join. And then they're like, there's going to be lots of alcohol involved. I'm like, you think alcohol is going to get me to go? I got esophagus issues. <laughs> you think I give a fuck about alcohol in the first place? No. Nah. If I was in California, yeah, no shots. Be dabs. It wasn't wearing a ring. The Ashley that I see today at the mixer is not the Ashley that I was expecting to see. You were online talking all the all of a sudden you're here like trying to like be nice. To me, I think it's fake. I feel the tension between Ashley and Jake. See, Brianna, I feel that way about most of the girls on the scene mom cast. Um, yeah, I feel like they're fake. So it's hard to pick out the genuine ones and hard to trust the right the right ones and then when you do they it's like they fuck you over and then you never want to be their friend again oh yeah thank you i'm about to miss the good stuff okay ladies let's start gathering around let's go shy ashley my amber gather around right here so we are going to do an icebreaker called screen therapy so what is screen therapy oh no, no. You're about to know. And I really don't like to scream. Scream therapy means we're gonna scream. I'm so good at scream therapy. You guys have heard me all my life. Something that you don't like, something that's been bothering you, this is your chance. <laughs> How many times have I done scream therapy while filming on Teen Mom? <laughs> Yo, don't tag me in any clips on TikTok. I'm sick of it. So screaming is a way of getting something out, releasing it out of you so you can move on. Give me a word, but we're going to scream something that represents what we have. She said you scream to release something that you've been keeping inside for so long. And it just, it makes a lot of sense to me now that I've screamed so much growing up. <laughs> so Leah, you're going to step forward. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, go for it. Loud. Loud. Just do it. Okay. You got it, Leah. Go for it. Got it. Okay. We've got you. Oh my god, that was funny. Leah, I know you can scream trust better than that. I mean, I feel like I've been dealing with toxic men and toxic people in my life for so many years. Just ever since I've been on TV, I've been used for my money. No love. That's it. Then after they get it, they are done. They really come after me to the... Or, <laughs> you run after them with a machete. <laughs> that might be it. I mean, I don't know. Point where they take, they can would say that kind of makes me sad. She is so full of wisdom. And I think that just shows how much work Amber's done. So oh. It takes away our power. Brianna. <laughs> Oh, love heart. Brianna. And yeah. I got some shit I gotta say because this just been on my mother chest. <laughs> <laughs> the fakeness! Wait, wait. Who, who was the fakeness for? This is why I love Brianna. She's not trying to start shit. I feel like Ashley jumped right into, hey, Jade. I feel like your mom is acting this way or this is why you and your mom have this type of relationship. Like, if someone were to say that to me, I'd be like, you don't know any fucking thing about me and my mom. You don't know fucking nothing, so don't say nothing about me and my mom's relationship. And still, don't. <laughs> My girl! That was the fakeness. Um, there was a little bit of cause 
confrontation between you and I. Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect. It's time to be real and it's time to be honest. Drop the fakeness. You said things that I just don't f with. What stuff was said online? You're really the punk ass bitch that I thought you were. And that's just some real bitch. It's some that your real friends ain't gonna tell you because they're also weird ass bitches. I'm gonna. See, that's one thing about. Okay, so that's one thing about Ashley. She pops off at the mouth a lot. Maybe because now she's older, she's going to stop doing that. I don't know. But uh, if you say Ashley's name, if you mention her at all, she will go and rant like crazy. Um, I will say within the past year, she has toned down and she has chilled out a little bit. And maybe she learned some lessons. But, you know, I feel like, uh, you gotta watch what you say and you can't just like can't just be calling everyone all sorts of names in the book and then you act like when you see them and nothing happened you're not no you can't do that can't do that well if you want to fight you to fight i'll f you up i do feel that love there <laughs> this uh, you don't really know me right absolutely I you so for you to make such big accusations or for you to feel some type of way i think it's kind of and how you move forward is how you move forward. Yeah. Well, I want to say something. Who I see here is like how you're talking to me is a different person than what I've experienced online. Because I feel like for the last two and a half years or so, you try to bully me online. You try to put me down. You try to say like just really toxic things. And I've never really acknowledged it. We've had all these problems when I come here and you're cordial and you're fine about it okay okay honestly i'm so happy jade said something to ashley i am because i don't stick up for myself like that and i need to and keep doing what you're doing All right, now I'm going to call out who needs to be called out. Jade, that was fucked up. Like, Jade, why did you freak the fuck out? Because <laughs> that was uncalled for. Like, you guys were literally having a conversation. And then you guys freaked out on each other. Like, that's what I saw. And Ashley, I mean, good job for keeping your cool, but your attitude has got to change. Long See, I wanna fight. Pure example. Ashley twerking, Leah smacking her ass, enabling people arguing like come on holy shit i'm not i'm not even watching the rest i'm literally look it says team mom i'm stopping my screen record uh, maybe i'll watch episode two but you can see it's on episode one it's at let's see 40 minutes of 43 so i made it to 40 minutes so it's good enough for me but y'all, I'm done watching this. Like this, this just makes me angry. Like, don't even dare ask me to be part of this. Cause I don't, I don't, no thank you. No thank you. No thank you very much. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so there's episode one. So episode one, what are my thoughts? My thoughts are that this is um, ratchet as fuck and um, it's ridiculous. And thanks for using my picture on the fucking table as decoration. Like, I'm your prize fucking winner, but you don't want to use me. Okay, whatever. We'll ignore that. But, uh, yeah, this was so stupid. And I hope you guys liked my reaction. <laughs> that's the end of my video. And that's as far as I'm getting for now. Maybe there'll be more reaction videos. I don't even know if I want to watch episode two. Might not ever exist for me for my reaction video so 
until next time, sorry, I didn't do any of my makeup. I didn't care to, but you know how I am. <laughs> but I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Peace. If you want to see episode two reaction, let me know. Um, I can add David in on it. I think I should because this shit is just so, this shit's so dumb. <laughs> All right, you guys. Bye.